Hey, you have an idea for a game, but you need a little bit of inspiration for the art style? In this video, I want to show you a way to get inspired in three simple steps. But time is rare, so let's get started. 1909 games. Let's make games. Do you know this situation? Start drawing. We need to make a game here. Sometimes you just need the right direction, but that could be really hard. But it also can be really easy. <laughs> In this video, we want to search for a style for an axe with a Christmas style, since it is the 24th of December. Hot! Shit! This is really hot. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be... So, so, so hot. <laughs> I think I have a video that really is... Ah, that you really will like and it's about motivation. How to stay motivated. You can watch it right here. Nice. Click it. And if you don't want to miss more content like this, I mean, there's really high quality content, right? Then click subscribe. But now let's get started with the video. The first thing that you should do when you want to get inspired is do some research. Research is really important, even it sounds a little bit of boring stuff, but it is not. Let me show you how I do my research for games or for other projects at all. In most cases, I start by going to Pinterest and search for whatever I want to search for, like an axe. And maybe you search for a sword then you can search for a sword or you search for a sword when you want to make an axe because you want to like have the grip or something, you know, you don't have to search exactly for what you are searching for. You can search for animals for everything and get inspired by like enemies, uh, animals um, for the horns or something, you know, for the teeth. You can get inspired by so much. But in this case, I search for an axe and I want to do it stylized. So I search for stylized, uh, axe stylized and there are a lot of pictures and it is way too much. And you see here that you have something like teeth or something. So you can get inspired by really everything, but search for something and then save the image. And in this case, I want to do a Christmas egg. So I search for Christmas and I see the colors. It's green, white and red. And so like this, I really want to get inspired for the colors when it comes to Christmas, because this is what really pops out the most at the beginning and of course you can go to google search or something or go and look in your art books <laughs> i don't know if you have some but that's the art of uh, dead space and there are some other books like sketching from imagination there are a lot of sketches and styles that's really inspiring or horizon zero, horizon zero dawn and you know don't copy don't just copy the stuff but get inspired the second step is to combine what you found. And for that, you go to the, I don't know, go to Photoshop or in my case, Krita, and just make some basic shapes and make a lot of shapes. In this case, I just do one shape because it's for the video, but do like a thousand drawings <laughs> and combine what you see. You know, if you want to have the outline of some picture, but you like the color from the other more and the shape from the third picture, combine these, but don't go with too much stuff just take three or four pictures that's enough and in this case i do the color from the christmas theme and i really like this reindeer horn but i didn't could put it in so yeah i have it but i don't use it so you don't have to use everything you're searching for or you found but try to combine everything and do not just copy and like this we have a nice concept for an x and at the end you should print out your stuff a picture and take it with you everywhere and get inspired from everything. You can get inspiration, I will show you, from really everything, for shape, for color, for just everything, but get inspired by every thing in the world, you know, that's it. And for that, I just, I start by doing an outline for the, for the shape, a really basic outline. It really, really must not look good because you will draw over it 
or next to it and it's just to have the basic shape so don't put too much time inside this drawing because you will not really use it you will just have it with you to have your basic shape and to draw like with it or over it or I don't know just draw a lot of stuff with that and after you have done that print it out so you have a printed stuff and you see me right here seeing the basic shape and try to you know make a little bit of changes and why do, did i say get inspired by everything because you can get inspired by this picture you know there are a lot of shapes there are a lot of really sexy shapes inside and it is just a printer or by this picture uh, this is my microphone but it has a lot of stuff interesting stuff going on and after that go in and make a final concept for what you want to do and that is what I have done here and because I had the Christmas theme for color I try to do Christmas <laughs> colors you know because like this you don't see really that it is a Christmas theme but you will see it in a moment <laughs> but at first now we do a 3d model you can do it you must not do it maybe you want to do a 2d thing then just go in and make it a 2d thing but this is what I get inspired from, just doing stuff, you know, not just getting inspired from others, but get inspired by yourself. You have this axe and now go on and go on and make little changes. That could be pretty inspiring when you see, oh, this little change was so good. That's inspiring and motivating. And you see me making a really basic and rough shaped axe right here. But it, as I told you, it's just for the video, so it's okay. I think I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I did the stylized texture, as you see, hand painted. And at the end, it looked something like a rough hand painted text <laughs> with a Christmas theme. You see it here. I'm really happy with the result. So hopefully you learned something and you liked the video. So and if you do like the video, then click like, subscribe to the channel to don't miss more of this. You know, don't, you don't want to miss it, right? I know it. And you can subscribe to the channel somewhere here and have a video to watch somewhere here. So, see you next time. Bye.